Well, Syrian activists have criticised the choice of a Sudanese general to head the group. Mustafa al-Dabi is a staunch loyalist of Sudan's president, Omar al-Bashir. Bashir, of course, is wanted by the International Criminal Court for Genocide, committed in Darfur. Dabi was Sudan's military intelligence chief and was sent to Darfur to quell the unrest there. He's accused of creating the Arab militias known as the Janjaweed. The UN says Sudan's government used them to kill thousands of ethnic Sudanese. Well, Joe Stork is the Deputy Director of Human Rights Watch Middle East Division and he told Al Jazeera he's worried about both the leadership and the makeup of the Arab League mission. It seems to be a very poor choice for someone to hit, head up a humanitarian, human rights, fact-finding mission. I mean, this is a man who, in his various services to the Bashir government in Sudan, uh, played a very obstructionist role in terms of UN and other international investigations of the situation in Darfur. Um, more recently, he's been an ambassador, I believe Sudan's ambassador Qatar, which may explain how he ended up in this position today in Syria. We don't know certainly any good reason why he was picked to head up this mission, but I got to say our concerns go beyond uh, al Dabi himself. Um, we're talking about a very, a very small number of monitors, number one. We're talking about people who've gone into this situation after a couple of hours of training when they should have at least a couple of weeks of training. We're talking about people who, by and large, we actually don't know who's on it. There's been very little transparency about who are the members of the, uh, of the group. Uh, but the ones we do know about, uh, they have no background in this. So uh, this we're, we're very concerned about this, coupled with the steps the Syrian government seems to have taken to obstruct their mission.